50 and is now in our new CNBC Next Gen 50 index. So congrats, Pasquale. Welcome. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks very much for having me. You know, I was looking back over the stock performance. It really ran into the end of last year. And I wonder if this was just one of those show me years where, you know, you kind of priced in a lot of the excitement and then you get a lot of good headlines this year, but investors are already looking for, you know, maybe better bottom line uh, results, for instance. Um, we've been, we've been uh, guiding, uh, uh, you know, pretty accurately on our, on our top line. In fact, we're beating guidance uh on uh on on revenue we've uh, raised guidance for q4 and we've set expectations that from an opex perspective we're in investment mode this is a massive market uh and we're in investment mode and 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 we expect to uh, glide slope to profitability uh uh in in time uh but we we don't want to squander the lead we have in this market so we're we're investing heavily to take share could you tell investors when to expect that inflection point so they can all get in at the right moment? You know, when is the, when are the shares going to start to hear from you? Yeah, and, and obviously they want you to be in investment mode to kind of be in the lead in the long run. But when do you think the narrative is going to start to change? I think when people start understanding how the industry actually works, Kelly. I think there's I think there's there's quite a bit of noise out there right now, and it's just going to take a while for investors to understand how companies like what how to judge companies like ours. And what would you say, you know, when we talk about you guys as an EV charging network, and obviously as the space gets more crowded, what differentiates you from others? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we've been in, the indus in this industry for 14 years. Uh, so we're at the product line, uh, amount of, of capital raised as a pre-public company, 640 million in paid in capital as a pre-public company. And then obviously the proceeds from the IPO um, um, uh, significant operations in two continents, uh, operating in every vertical of, of EV charging that we can think of anyway. So breadth of product line and breadth of sales reach, breadth of channel, breadth of everything, uh, ability to handle scale. Uh, all those things are things we think significantly differentiate us. Let's talk about profit margins, which were better than some analysts expected. And, and that was with a headwind from supply chain issues. Is that right? Um, what's profitability likely to look like for the next couple of quarters? Uh, well, we're continuing to uh, uh, improve margins. Obviously, that's uh, more of a challenge in a supply chain constrained environment because assurance of supply uh, limits the velocity with which you can make changes in your supply chain. Uh, you can't have it both ways. Uh, and uh, as you've seen, uh, we're, we're <clears throat> meeting or exceeding the high side of our of our revenue range, which means we're really stressing uh, our supply chain rising to the occasion, of course, is our ops team and our engineering team making that all happen. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, our our margin performance as a result um, is a little behind where we expected uh, in a non supply chain constrained environment, but we're continuing to make margin improvement on top of having uh, what the world would consider one of the worst supply chain environments that, yeah. that it's ever seen in recent history. Absolutely. So let's close talking about the subscriptions that you are experiencing. You had some decent year on year growth there. I mean, is that going to be a really important part of, you know, the company's strategy and obviously to investors, maybe the valuation and the multiple over time? It is the company's strategy, uh, period, full stop. Uh, we do not sell hardware without a uh, subscription to a cloud service associated with the services the customer wants to deploy in their parking lot. So we are a cloud service. We are a SaaS company through and through. Uh, we happen to have to have the delivery vehicle, which is a physical charger in the parking lot. But we are a SaaS company through and through. Understood. Pasquale, thank you for your time today and for joining us to talk about it. We appreciate it.